Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, December 29th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And well, I'm sorry about the year is ending with yet another log for J update, yet one more remote code execution vulnerability. However, this one can only be exploited by actually modifying the logging configuration. Root cause is again JNDI or Jindy. And uh, yes, uh, the exploit pattern sort of is the same, but uh, modifying the configuration shouldn't be as easy and as common as some of the other flaws. So that's why I wouldn't really assign it the same priority as you get uh, from the prior vulnerabilities. The latest version with this is uh, log4j 2.17.1. That's for Java 8. For Java 7, we are now up to 2.12.4. And for Java 6, it's now 2.3.2. And the fix here is essentially that uh, by default, uh, JNDI is disabled and the JDBC appender uh, will only allow JNDI if uh, the specific system property is set to true. The CVE number for this vulnerability is 2021-44832 and the CVSS score is 6.6. .6. And in Diaries today, we have a great one by Russ. He's introducing a work done by the Adobe Security Coordination Center and their Secure Intelligence Group, where they open sourced some machine learning classifiers for living off the land attacks. The problem is old, but in some ways also very current in, for example, Renato talking earlier this week about how MS Build is being used by attackers in attacks like like this. The work published by Adobe here does contain classifiers for, for example, uh, shells and exfil attempts and also coin miner. So some of the more common attacks that you may be seeing, and the idea is that you would feed these algorithms uh, various uh, logs that you find, for example, uh, commands and the command line arguments that are being executed with these commands, and uh, then you'll get a result on whether or not it falls to one of these categories. It also sort of has basically the bad, good, or neutral rating that it then assigns uh, to the individual items. And I think what's really great here is this is not sort of a magic black box necessarily, uh, as you sometimes find from vendors, but everything is open source. You can play with the Jupyter notebooks around uh, this work on GitHub. So very easy uh, to approach. And uh, certainly if you are interested in machine learning and how it applies uh, to security and log analysis and such, uh, this is something uh, great uh, to log into and uh, to work with. So let us know if it works for you or if you found a good use of uh, these uh, techniques. And well, I know it's hard, but uh, yes, you, know, you should have uh, different passwords for different websites. And one tool, of course, that can help you achieve this is uh, password managers. But that only works if the password that you're using to protect the passwords in your password manager is unique and not used anywhere else. Apparently, some users for LastPass didn't heed that advice, and there are numerous reports, according to Bleeping Computer, where uh, users of LastPass did receive warning emails telling them that someone tried to log into their account from an unfamiliar source, so essentially from a different country or such. Initially, some suspicion here was that that some of these passwords were leaked, but apparently a common denominator here is that these passwords did show up in some prior leaks. So again, make absolutely sure that the one password you really should be taken care of that should be unique, that should be hard to guess, that should be long, that should contain all kinds of funny characters and such is the password that you're using to secure your password manager. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.